Hi, so I'm trying to break it up as like nice and easy chunks, aren't I? So that question is done, got some consolidation, which you're doing class. And then I've got this next little bit here. So it says, from school, you sub one into the other and then you solve it. So we're going to do that. So we're going to sub this into the equation. So we're going to put it there. So I'm going to have 4x plus 3 is x squared minus 3x minus 5. So that's straight from school. Just put them equal to each other. And then rearrange it. So I've got x squared minus 7x minus 8. And then I'm just going to use pom. So I'm going to put 1 minus 7 minus 80. Uh, let's see if I can get it up. There. So exit. Put it down. Exit. So I've got one. Oh. It's originally faffy. It never used to be this faffy to do these. So one. Look, see, it's kind of like drawing as a family. Hang on. Turn to the ball. Turn the keyboard. There. So I've got x is 8 or x is minus 1. Sub it into the easiest equation, which is the equation of the straight line. So I've got 4 lots of 8 plus 3. So what's that? So 8, 16, 32, 35. So 8, 35. But if you look, that kind of matches there, doesn't it? It's 8, 35. You could just graph it as well and see. And um, 4 lots of minus 1 plus 3. So y is minus 1. Minus 1 comma minus 1. And that looks like minus 1 minus 1, doesn't it? There's a question for you. So have a go at that. Oh, hang on. I've been too fast. Sorry. There's a question for you. Now, just for the fear of it. This one's a little bit tougher looking, so write it as y equals 4 over x before you put it equal to it. So I'll reveal this now. See how you do. Uh, they've done it a different way, but I'd have done it as, as 4 over x is 2x plus 2, and then just multiply 3 by x. Which is the same, if you look at that, it's the same. So you can just divide 3 by 2. Same answer, you get the same answer now for that one. Now then, let's have a look on the next page. So it says a graph of a linear equation can intersect twice, intersect once, or not intersect at all. So this is linked to your discriminant from what we did before. Because we're rearranging them equal to each other and then putting it equal to zero, we can use the discriminant. So if I've got two places where it crosses, then I've got two solutions. If I've got one solution here, I've got a tangent there. If it just touches once, there are no solutions, it goes nowhere near it. So let's have a look at this example two. And then I think that's, that's it for that lesson. So it says the line y equals 2x plus 1 on the curve meets at exactly one point. So I've got to sub that in there. It's quite a messy looking equation, isn't it? So my kx squared plus 2 lots of y plus k minus 2 is 0. So I've not got y equals. Well, I could have y equals. I could quite easily get y equals. I'm going to sub that in there. So this is like, on the scale of what's normal, this is massively abnormal. Just because it looks really, really messy. 
So what have we got now? So I've got k lots of x squared, I've got 4x, I've got 2, I've got k, and I've got minus 2. Right, so we've got to be careful here. Right, so I've got to try and order it in x powers. So I've got to think of my x powers here. I might have k knocking about, but k is just a number. So I've got to think of my x powers here. The twos cancel, and I just get that. There. Right. So if I know it's exactly one point where they cross, a tangent, so exactly one point, you're not going to like this, this is bad example for us. We want something nice and easy and straightforward. We want to build up to the tough ones. So if it's <clears throat> if it just touches, it's a tangent, then b squared minus 4ac is 0. Looking at the equation, a is k, I might end up doing this again with the class, b is 4, and c is k. Just let me, oh, I can extend the page. So I'm going to use the fact that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So 4 squared minus 4 times k times k is equal to 0. So 16 minus 4k, oh, I'm gone. Is that going? Sixteen minus four k squared is equal to zero. So sixteen is four k squared. You can spot that as a difference of two squares as well. So plus or minus two for k. There. Now, does it tell us anything about k? So it mentions up here that k is a positive constant. So if I just right here. As k greater than 0, therefore k is plus 2. Right, so what do I have to do with it? Find the value of k. That's what we've done. Messy, because I've subbed in, got out a quadratic, I've had to be really, really careful, because that's my a value, that's my b value, that's my c value, and then I've used b squared minus 4ac. So there's a lot going on in that, that, that bit. It's, you know, it's not easy at all. Then it says, for this value of k, find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So my k, x squared, plus 4x, plus k is 0. That becomes 2x squared, plus 4x, plus 2 is 0. So in poly, I'm going to put 2, 4, 2 in. Uh, oh, I'll have to go and press the button. Now, if you do that, because it's a repeated route, it just gives you one value. It gives you x is minus 1. I'm cheating a bit here now. I'm using the pack. But you get poly, you get x is minus 1. Well, that value would show twice. And that's because we said that b squared minus 4ac was equal to 0. But it's a tangent. But it just touches. Right, so I need to sub that into my, one of my equations. So if I sub it into y equals 2x plus 1, I always go for the easy one. That's going to be minus 1. So your point of intersection will be minus 1, minus 1. There. Right. Messy. Really, really messy that. Sorry about that. Got some consolidation questions, so we've done that.